I, I try to be a mensch, try to do the best I can. Um, and I think that's all you can do. What's that look like uh, in terms of for, for the Tobias Agency? What does being a mensch uh, look like in terms of how you're treating authors and, and, and what you're doing? Um, you know, we want to be upfront and honest. Um, some agents, when they sign someone, will say, you'll make $100,000 this year. Um, and that's not something I say or I let our agents say. Um, I mean, I tell people, I love your book. I'm going to go hard for this. I'm not afraid to beat a dead horse, but I can't guarantee anything. Um, I'll say, you know, I think we can get a six-figure deal for this. I feel it in my bones, but I can't guarantee anything. I can't guarantee tomorrow the sun will rise. So, I mean, I believe in being as upfront as possible. Um, and I believe in, like, for example, you know, we've run into drama with anti-trans uh, people in the organization that we had to excise from our company. Um, and it had nothing to do with quote unquote social justice warriors or people coming for us. It's just something I didn't want to be around. It has nothing to do with anything other than that's not my bag. Uh, I believe everyone should be able to do and feel however the hell they want. And I'm allowed to react to that however the hell I want. Seems Pardon my French. So going back to what you're looking for an author, we'll accept a little bit crazy. You could be a bit of Sylvia Plath and put your head in the oven. But if you're out there posting anti-trans nonsense, not, not at the Tobias Literary Agency, you keep looking. Yes, yes. Um, I mean, I've had people posting political stuff I don't agree with, and that's fine. But I've had people post lunatic conspiracy theories that I'm just like, no, cut the crap. I, I don't want you out there posting that there are reptilians in the government, you know, putting microchips in our brains. <laughs> it looks, number one, that that's bonkers. And then it makes me look bonkers that I'm representing you. Yeah, but how are you going to look when the reptilians microchip all our brains and you could have warned people? <laughs> I, I'll pie on my face, man, and I, I'll admit, I'll be the first one to be like, yeah, I messed up. Reptilians are replacing our brains of computers. <laughs> you were right. I was wrong. My bad. <laughs> I had to swallow that pill. Not with reptilians, but I've taken books out with um, titles that I chose that the author said, well, I like this one. I said, let's try mine. And then the publisher's like, no, we like the original title. I'm like, I, I was wrong. My bad. You were right. <laughs> I screwed up. <laughs>